I think I'm a little addicted to this game. I might be a little addicted. Our early Zelda stream. I don't really have an introduction. Let's just play the game so I can get my fix. I'm waiting for the complaints. Vinny, why? Why are you so early? Why, why are you streaming early? You're supposed to stream before I go to bed, Vinny. And then the people that show up at the stream later are going to be like, Vinny, you're supposed to stream early. Why don't you stream early? Oh, um, I played a little bit. After my stream last night, I maybe killed some moblins and got their guts. So if you watch this last night, and things will look a little different than where I left off, that's why. I am currently here, which is right next to the Lanayru Tower. I mean, let's let's head over to this uh, series of islands and let's just explore a little bit. See what happens. Oh, I have um, I, I ended up killing a bunch of fucking wizards, <laughs> so I have a bunch of their stuff. And also, I may have used the amiibo last night. I'm not sure. Let's find out. Yep. Yeah, apples and a watermelon. I'm lucky the watermelon didn't fall on my fucking head. Right, but then again, I do have... I do have a helmet. Oh look, my first Twilight Princess gear. I mean, the armor isn't as good as what I have already. But, you know, eventually, it could be. Um, I actually have enough to fully upgrade my armor because I farmed Moblins for like a half hour and found a few Koroks and stuff last night. So, first set bonus will be revealed. I hope uh, everyone's doing good. Welcome to the stream, welcome to the stream. As you can see, while well, early for me, human hours for most people. I just woke up five minutes ago. No, I actually woke up at a fairly reasonable time today. And then I tried driving. I went food shopping, because I was kind of running out of stuff to eat. And the fucking roads suck. There's snow banks the size of, of small children. Of large children. There's- there's snow banks. That's really the only pertinent piece of information here. There are snow banks, and they're filthy and muddy and gross and, like, hard. You know, like, cause the hard snow... It, it- it got real, like, turgid. It sucks. It sucks. So, there's no parking. I couldn't even go to the studio today. There's no parking near the studio. So I just went food shopping and bought some stuff so that I can live in this winter wasteland. My plans in Zelda today are to explore and just see what happens. I also heard these rumors of a very interesting armor set in the area that I had recently arrived at. I might be able to do a few quests, too. But first, here's a suspicious piece of wood. Everything's suspicious in this game. I need to find Koroks. The only way to do so is to be suspicious of everything. Oh, hello there, traveler. Sorry for the random question, but have you ever been to Zora's Domain? Yes. I see. Is it far from here? It's not that far. I see. Oh, sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Sasan. The traveling mer- I'm like... Extremely... Extremely worry... Of travelers. Because they sometimes turn into assholes that try to fucking attack me with a sickle. I was on the way to Zora's domain, but a love letter in this inlet caught my eye. The writer seems to be a lovely Zora named Finley. Uh oh, forbidden romance. I've been corresponding with her by giving my replies to travelers headed- Heading to Zora's Aww. domain. So then. Next, it's her turn to write, so I'll just wait here a while. Okay, so that- that's not starting a quest. But, yeah, it's- it's pretty, um... It's pretty crazy, I no longer trust... ...anyone in this game. No, no one here. No, 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 no clumsy, heavy... ...knights here. Oh, I could show you some cool stuff, if you're interested, like this meteor rod I have. It's an upgrade to the, uh, fire rod. I can also show you this... ...thunderstorm rod on this poor blue bokoblin. And the blizzard rod. And then the meteor rod again. They love it. They're having a good- to see he's dancing! Considering the trident can be repaired... 
I mean, I may as well use it, right? I also need to keep an eye out for meteors. Because I need one of their ingredients. <laughs> and someone just wrote, an infinite cycle of pain. I mean, a Bokoblin's life is just an infinite cycle of pain to begin with. It requires a Zora Spear, 5 Flint, and Diamond. Oh shit, so it's not free. Alright, well I'll use it, and then I'll be a little bit more careful about it. I need it to get into a shrine, I think, later. Someone said that. The best way to mine in video games. Throw one of your square bombs at it. It's just so... intuitive. Shrine quests. The ceremonial song. A gift from the sky, a scale of light, splits the feet of a veiled false sight. Your trial awaits. It's glowing bright. Some loud ass crickets they have here in Hyrule. I'm just here to collect them and sell them into captivity. Like the dude who needed the ten crickets earlier. Remember to dull your weapons by chopping trees so you can get useless apples. Alright, they're useful. I think apples are pretty useful in this game. These crickets are gonna give me away. It's a shame this isn't like Skyrim where you could just... like, stealthily shoot your bow and get bonus damage that way. Let's try... No. No. What the fuck? I'm holding right and it's... it's... giving me amiibo powers. It, uh, what the fuck? That's not the first time that's happened. Has anyone else had that problem? Where you, like, hold the right button to change your weapon, and somehow your powers are being changed? Only on the Pro Controller? Because, I mean, man, they really want me to- look, see here, I'm pressing right. I think maybe I'm pressing up right, and it just thinks I'm pressing right? I don't know. Or I'm pressing up, rather. Or I'm kind of, like, slightly pressing up. Whatever the case, it's an annoyance. And it's happened to me a few times. The D-pad is very sensitive to rocking on the- on the Pro Controller. Well, there you go. I'm rocking hard. It didn't mean to come... ...off like that. Uh-oh, didn't mean to come- Oh god! Oh god! Innuendos everywhere! I'm sorry! No Koroks on this island thus far. It's very surprising. By the way, I went to my P.O. Box today. I actually did manage to drive, like I said. So I escaped the winter wasteland, and... ...my car looks like it's- it's covered in... Just muddy ass shit. But I did manage to get out. And, um, I, I received what might be the greatest plug and play ever. The most infringerant, infringerino, horrendous plug and play. But it's also kind of awesome. Like, seriously, I could, I could see myself even using this for fun and not just making fun of it. It's ass, but it's also kind of amazing. And I'm not gonna give the rest away. And I'm also not going to spoil it for myself, because it is that good. Oh shit, the- the giant's boomerang broke?! The thing lasted so long last time. Bastards. Broke my feckin' boomerang, you fucking animals. Alright, now let's see if this was worth it. It's a new giant's boomerang! Still saving that Lionel sword for some reason. Where am I again? Um... Crenando Peak. So I'm just kind of edging everyone right now because I do have upgrades available for my armor. And I want to see what it is. I've been really excited to check it out. But, I mean, I figure while I'm here, may as well take a look around. This game is kind of like a very accurate representation of how I live my life. Which is, I'll set out to do something, get distracted by another thing, then get distracted by another thing, and then another. Now this is a unique Korok puzzle, I have not seen this one yet. And before long... I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And nothing gets done. What do I think of Chlamydia again in so far? I think he's pretty cool. I've learned a little secret about Koroks recently. I'm not telling. It's not like a spoiler. Well, it kinda is. Actually, it's not a story spoiler, it's just... So, I, I may know what you get when you find all the Koroks. I mean, the Koroks are useful because they upgrade your inventory, but there is... 
something. Someone got all 900 Koroks. I'm not gonna tell you, I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm gonna let you figure it out on your own. But eventually, eventually I'll tell you a little bit about it. For, you know, for anyone, any of the one or three people in chat that actually plan on... on getting all of the Koroks, all 900, I'm sure you all have time for that. I I'm sure everyone can do that and we'll make that happen. It's just 900. Fight me! God, this sword is really good. Powerful sword. Look at that sword. Just more ruins. Destroyed by the lizards. Who's building their... ...town? In like a... ...swampy... ...marshland. Probably smells like... ...like dirty... ...buttholes. All year round. There we go. One step closer to 900. Okay. Uh, I think we're good here for now. I, I can explore more of these wetlands. These moist and unstable lands. Eventually. Let's, uh, let's upgrade the armor. Alright. See these three trees? How they're lined up like this? This is not the first time I've seen trees in formation similar to this. I is this anything? Or is this just apples? It's a Korok puzzle. Look at the pattern of apples. Y yeah I mean, so, I mean, okay, this this was my assumption, right? I didn't think I, I was actually going to have to do something like this. But my idea was simply take off the apples that aren't on the other trees. I guess I would have been right. However, getting that last apple is going to be kind of a bitch, so I'm going to have to shoot it up. Oh! Ah. So I, I've missed a few Koroks then. Just in plain sight. I also did not consider shooting an apple off with an arrow until just now. So that makes that kind of puzzle a whole lot easier. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh my god. Uh, here, here we go. So I have... I have what you need. Actually, before I do that, remind me again, I need the Shard of Farash's Horn. I need Star Fragment. I need Hightail Lizards and Electric Keys to upgrade my climbing gear, which I would very much like. I don't even know what, what to do for that one. But yeah, I need more of them damn lizards. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I'm, re I'm ready. I'm ready for you. No, 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 I, wait, 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 no, don't go back into your- Vagina cave. Huh. Ah. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. Oh, you don't have any other enhancements for me? Okay. <laughs> and the set bonus is nothing. As far as I can tell. Or do I have to, like, buy a set bonus? What, what am I doing wrong here? <laughs> is it really true that the, the two pieces of armor I've upgraded do not have set bonuses? It's just a good armor set now. I mean, kind of disappointed. But also kind of kind of not disappointed? Alright, we gotta go to Tingle Island. That's all there is to it. Knight has no set bonuses, that's why it's cheap. I mean, the defense is amazing. I almost feel wrong even using it. But I worked hard for it. Now let's go see Tingle. I don't think Tingle's in the game, actually. Which just means that Tingle is now owed, uh, you know, his own game again. People are busy translating Tingle's balloon trip as we speak. We need a new Tingle game, said no one ever. Oh my god. Holy Christ. Easy. It has a distinct smell, this Korok seed. Just take a look at it. Think about the smell. Ugh. Got more of these guardians, huh? Tingel Island. Wow, it's actually quite high up. Oh, 
my blue moblin senses are tingling. That is actually a, a layover from yesterday because I did not want to wander aimlessly. Let's turn that off for now. Tingel Island. Um. Oh, fuck. I guess I probably want to approach from there. Link in a full, like, plate mail set of armor is weird. I, it looks cool, but it's just so fucking weird playing a Zelda game. And I just- there's Link. In full armor. Oh, I got some, like, bunny shield. <laughs> I mean, it's- it's just bunnies. It's a wooden shield made of bunnies. The international symbol of hit Japanese anime character, Bunny Yasando. Link has got to be really fucking strong, though. To run for that long, in this gear, you seriously have to be a beast. But Link also uses really, really, really heavy swords, and like, hammers and axes, and, and it's just, it's just crazy. Like, he must have been birthed into, like, gladiatorial combat to have this much skill. Or it's magic. One of those two things. Oh, I found the... Bokoblin Orgy. Let's go check it out. They'll never see me. Or hear me. Because it's raining, and the sound of my footsteps will be masked, and it's night. So they're not going to be able to see me. What are they- what are they doing? Good. It's a bunch of fuckers facing the wrong way! Enjoy. I kind of want to, like, knock some of these fuckers off the cliff. This is a really hard group of enemies. Oh my god. Even with this full set of armor, I'm getting my ass kicked. Coming for ya. Uh, you're not gonna stay on this cliff very long. You're not- you're not gonna- Oh god. Wrong way. Oh god damn it. There we go. I could have just made this bull real angry. Oh, I didn't mean to kill the goddamn thing. Oh, that's good meat. I didn't mean to kill it. I just wanted to ride it. It wouldn't let me ride it. That's what you get. It's a good thing I have a bunny shield. Protected me from all that damage. Forest Dweller's Bow. The Koroks made this bow for Hylians. It's crafted from flexible wood. Uses sturdy vines for bowstring. Um, its construction may be simple, but it fires multiple arrows at once. Fuck yeah. I didn't know there were more bows that fired multiple arrows at once. I will be using this. Oh, um... I've been forgetting to take the pictures lately. Come on, get get together for the pictures. Come on. Yeah, we're never fucking together as a family. Okay? Just fucking take the pictures. I don't want to uh, jinx it, but for whoever just asked me if Pax Pox is setting in, I, I think I have maybe avoided it. Now, just because I'm saying that, I'm going to feel a little tickle in my anus, and I'm going to be stricken with a, a, a new and more deadly form of Pax Pox. Interesting stuff down there. Lots of boulders. I don't know what the hell they're doing down there. But we still have to... go to... the Tingle. The Tingle Lands. Some say it's the most magical place on Earth. Where you can get... your Tingle pingled. No, I need- I need the squ squirrel picture! Oh, hey. Come here. You too. You too. <laughs> the fuck this is a boomerang? Let's test it out on this innocent fox. Pretty good. Yeah, why not? I'll take a sledgehammer. I'm gonna need it for the Tingle Islands. Probably not. 
Yeah. Another lizard congregation. They have a pretty, um... They have a treasure chest over there, huh? Alright, okay. Did they even know who did this? Are, are they aware? I mean, I see them speak. The lizard, they speak. Doesn't look like they know what's going on. Yeah, they see. I think they see me now. Ow! Oh, you son of a bitch! Now let me battle the frame rates. And lo, it was completed. They dropped some pretty, uh, pretty interesting gear. Lots of parts you could use for upgrades, and we're full. Melee weapons are totally full again. Silver scale spear. I had one of those. It broke. I guess we can get rid of um. I'm not really good with hammers. Yet. And I use bombs to smash ore, so I have no problem getting rid of that. Can we finally get to Tingle Islands? No, because there's a very suspicious looking rock. Uh oh. Whoa. Whoa, slow down that footage for a second there, Thad. Link's leg looked like it... Looked like it broke. Came clean off. CLEAN OFF! You rarely need Korok leaves. Well, sometimes I do. You're right, it's not too often, but... I've been waiting for you, Star Fox. I was confirmed for Andros the other day. I, I don't know, I don't, I don't see any Koroks on that rock. Let's just fucking go to the island now. So here's Dave, Davy Island. Sorry. Davdi Island. Named after the tremendous... David Jr. A true hero. Okay, I'm gonna show you how it's done. This is- now this is how you- This is how you stealth kill. Go real slow. And you do not stealth kill at all. <sighs> it's, is, it, is it because I'm wearing metal? It's definitely because I'm wearing metal. Hey, Tango, it's me, Panker. Let me show you my t My island. My Ireland. So just rocks? Okay, so there's rocks here. Um, I guess we'll go down the mountain first. I wonder if this is just like side quest island. Hey, that was pretty good. It just works. After Tingle Islands, I might make a cup of coffee real quick, because I didn't- I didn't have my coffee today. I didn't have my coffee talk with Linda Richmond. So I'm gonna have to do that. And now we have a thunderstorm. You know what that means? It means I'm dead. Okay, what weapon here? Uh, is this- Okay, now we're good. Link is RPing his Surge from Chrono Cross. Let it- let him RP. Hasn't he done enough? The armor doesn't attract lightning? That doesn't make any sense. Well, regardless, I'm gonna be climbing a lot, so this- this is good. This is fine. Th thunder does not affect metal armor. Also, what the fuck is up with this rain? It is so patchy. I- I love that it's not just... You're either in rain state, or unrain state. It seems like there's actually spots of rain. And non-rain. Now that... ...is Octorox. Fucking Christ! <laughs> I missed a bombable area, okay. Wait, what? Really? What did I do? Oh, that's the- you're supposed to dive... ...into these lily pad circles. I guess it just registered as me diving into it, even though I didn't. Oh yeah, how did I miss that? Let 
Now I know what you're thinking, why is he using good weapons to break open rocks? It's because there's so many, so many good weapons in this game. You just keep getting them. I don't have fucking room for them. Because I keep getting so many of them. And I got a diamond. Diamonds are good. Big hearty radishes are really good. You can make some fucking excellent food. With big hearty radishes, bro. Hey, do you want to try the big hearty radish cocktail? Yeah, it's like a whiskey sour mixed with like a smoky kind of like Ribogo flavor. You, you never heard of Ribogo, bro? Well, that's because you've never been to a mixology bar before. We're like chemists for drinks. D bro, Scro, you gotta check out these drinks that we make. It's like chemistry. Never heard of mixology bars until yesterday, and I already fucking hate them. <laughs> I mean, look at it, it is real. They are a real thing. They're- and they're real fancy. They were not- I mean, I definitely am embellishing the story. You know, the, the, they didn't actually speak very much like that, just a little bit like that. Enough so that I could embellish it. But it was very, um... It was interesting ordering a drink. For, for those that missed it, I talked about the mixology bar that I went to for, um, a PAX for, like, a YouTube thing. And it was just so strange. They encouraged you to, like, mix, and they're like, You sure you just want a whiskey on the rocks, bro? <laughs> because we've got, like, all this cool stuff. Do you want a sweet vermouth cocktail? Alright, mixed with a little bit of Chilean bacon. Alright, we'll turn that upside down for about 45 minutes. Put it on fresh shaved ice from the Appalachia Mountains, right? And then we'll combine that with the tooth of a clown and a little bit of scotch. Just a little bit. And then you got yourself a bodacious drink, my bro. It's like, no, can I just have a whiskey on the rocks, please? I mean, you could, but, like, we encourage you to experiment. That was an accident. I, I just wanted to, like, climb off. And then that happened. Oh, no. I guess I could have eaten food. I, I guess I kind of need to eat food. Yeah, you die because you don't have the stamina to swim in the water to stay afloat. Like, swimming involves stamina. So if you lose all your stamina on a cliff from climbing, that means you have zero stamina when you hit the water and you just drown. Man, there better be some cool shit here on Tingle Island. Like, I want a Tingle costume. Tight. I want it to be tight. I want it so tight that it cuts off circulation. And I like a little balloon that I could fly around in and sell maps. And a false nose. You know, like a big red one. Have I seen the video of Richard Patterson teaching you how to drink whiskey? I think I have. Isn't that where he, like, tosses some whiskey behind him? Like, he, he swirls it around the glass for a second, then he's like... He, he tosses it, and, and, he, and he, he says something like, I will kill you! Is it that guy? Yeah, I've seen that. I mean, the dude knows how to drink whiskey. And, and he, he'll kill you if you don't drink it right, I guess. Goodbye. That's worth it for a topaz. Okay, now there's just a... A fuck bunch of... A fuck nugget of rocks. I'm gonna need more lizards. I wanna set up like a lizard farm. What game was it where you could like... Farm... Oh, it was Monster Hunter. Wow, that is a strong gust. Can you take me higher? I'm so sorry to reference that song. I will admit that is an extremely stupid use of my of my cool weapon. <laughs> Fully aware of that. Come on, Link! I did too many jumps. The reason I wasn't blowing up those rocks with bombs is because I was afraid that the blow up would make the rock the the rock um boogers no the the nuggets of of good things go off the cliff looks like there's just a lot of mining up here 
on all these islands. Doesn't seem like... Well, which one's this? This is ankle. Oh, we didn't even hit ankle proper yet. This is just an extension of ankle. Oh man, now this is ankle proper. Or ankle major, if you will. Oh man, I'm definitely hearing things. I saw you. Don't think... Don't believe that you know. 